to Sabi fans and welcome back to Hobby Brothers Reviews. I am your Hobby Brother and today let's gonna have a short review on this HG TT Hongli Double O Riser. Is this the best high grade knockoff kit? Let's find out. I've heard a lot of high grade knockoff reviews claiming that this kit is the best HG bootleg. At first glance, I can absolutely tell that this kit looks pretty good considering its overall design and set of equipments. The Gundam 00 Riser is featured in mid-season 2 of Gundam 00 series. The unit is co-piloted by Setsuna FCA piloting the 00 Gundam and Saji Crossroad piloting the 00 Riser. However, when combined, Setsuna can operate both units himself. What makes this Gundam unique compared to other mobile suits in the series is that it has the twin drive system. The 00 Gundam is equipped with the two GN drives, which is noticeably mounted on both of its shoulders. Take note that if you're going to buy this 00 Riser bootleg product, you will obviously get two kits in one. The 00 Fighter, otherwise called the 00 Gundam, and of course the 00 Riser, which actually helps you save some money. First, let's have a look at the 00 Gundam. This Gundam is the successor to the Gundam Exia. Now when looking at it closely, I kinda noticed that the Gundam Exia has a bigger shoulder compared to the 00 Gundam, which creates an illusion that the Exia is larger compared to the Gundam 00. And some articulations were not present like the chest movements in the Gundam Exia. But despite all that, the 00 Gundam has a pretty good amount of articulation on its both shoulders, arms, and including its legs. Which makes me kinda surprised that I am able to move its joints freely. I can make some sort of poses available to the 00 Gundam. The 00 Gundam comes with this set of weaponry. First, we have this pair of GN Sword 2, which is actually an improved weapon of the Gundam Exia and more conventional in terms of shape. These GN Swords has different modes. You got the Sword Mode, which sees this as a conventional type broad swords, and you can also rotate these two swords itself and fold in these sections underneath for Rifle Mode, revealing its targeting sensors just like on the anime. You can also combine these two swords together with the use of this grey colored plastic accessory to form a double sword staff. Now another thing that I like about these swords is that you can insert these on the two holes located on both side skirts armor and it can hold pretty well. Unlike the Gundam Exia in which you need to put these grey handles and slot its GN blades which has a tendency to fall any time. Also, it comes with this pair of GN shields, an improved version of the GN shield carried by the Gundam Exia. It can be stored as three separate pieces either near the GN drives, on the wings of the O-Riser, and you can place them beneath the kit's arm. And the blades can actually be extended. Pretty cool. Just like the GN Sword 2, the shields can combine into one large shield. You can do this by shifting the blue part and connecting them. 
also a pretty good kind of gimmick for a weapon. The next thing we are going to check is the 00 Riser. It is a mobile weapon support craft designed exclusively for the 00 Gundam. The only point of its articulation is moving these parts. Well, what can we expect from a fighter of course? Another downfall of this kit is that these two parts is a bit loose and can fall off easily, so you better need to be careful when holding this one. Now is the time to connect the O riser to the double O Gundam. First thing we need to do is to split the O riser into three parts. Extend the rear section of the main body and fold it down. Shift the small wings as shown as well as the clasp on top of the wing binders. Then shift the gray connector which was used to connect to the main body up. The last thing we need to do is to connect the parts to the double O the main body to the back while the wing binders goes to the GN drive. The only thing that I don't like about this bootleg is that its colors are obviously pretty dull. I wish it has a high contrasting color like the Gundamexia which is also a bootleg and that makes the kit less attractive and less eye-catching. However in terms of building this one, you may actually encounter some fitting issues as well. Well that's pretty common for most of the knockoff high grade kits. But once you've managed to assemble this, it is quite firm and sturdy. Not to mention that this kit can stand and maintain its balance even though the old riser is attached on both of the kit's shoulders and on its back. The articulation is great and nothing much to complain of.
Overall, this kit offers me a great experience. You actually get two kits in one. The combination of the Double O Gundam and the O Riser make for a very versatile kit with almost endless posing opportunities. And the whole host of multi-mode weapons are a real treat too. It has a good set of weaponry and an unbelievable articulation for just a bootleg kit. And I also forgot to mention that this kit also comes with an extra hand and a decent stand for the O Riser. And that's for a short review. I hope you enjoy watching. Leave it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Happy Brothers Reviews!